Well, asking me how the chip works before I show you what it does is a bit like asking how a magic trick works before showing you the magic trick. You're can you name a super fast AI tool? We can give you a hint. It's faster than models like Opus, which are behind it. We're referring to the ultra fast Llama 3. Since 2016, a startup called Grok, led by Jonathan Ross, has been working on some game changing tech to shake up AI processing. They've been quietly working on something called the LPU, which is different from the usual GPU stuff. Instead of graphics processing units, they've come up with their own chip called the Tensor Streaming Processor, or TSP, made specifically for AI prediction tasks. Grok's cool new tech is set to change how we use AI, especially for stuff that needs to happen super fast and not cost a ton. It's faster and cheaper than the usual chips like GPUs, giving big players like Nvidia a run for their money. This move towards LPU is part of the bigger trend where AI bigwigs are making their own chips, all to rely less on companies like Nvidia for hardware. First off, Llama's Meta model is now almost as good as GBT4 from Facebook slash Meta, which is its closest competitor. The Llama model is huge, around 70 billion parameters, whereas GBT4 has about 1.7 trillion parameters. Plus, Llama's model is open source, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't end there. Another model, Llama 3, with over 400 billion parameters is in development, but isn't fully trained yet. Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA thinks that GPT-5 will come out before Llama 3. The 400 billion parameter model is released. It seems like OpenAI likes to make announcements in response to others, always aiming to stay ahead of the AI race. This could mean we'll see even better results soon. Chris Paxton from Hello Robot, who used to work at AI at Meta and NVIDIA, finds it pretty surprising that a 70 billion parameter model can compete with GPT-4, which, remember, has 1.8 trillion parameters. It just shows how important training data is. Mark Zuckerberg talked about this in an interview recently. They have a ton of carefully selected, high-quality data for training, so even a much smaller model can perform at a level close to GPT-4. Now, we have GPT-4 level capabilities at home or very close to it. This means you can set up affordable machine learning setups capable of running advanced AI systems all from home. You could power your own assistance for business, work, or personal use. Imagine having a tool like Devon, which supposedly runs on GPT-4, that can code, fix code, and maybe in the future even do more like building websites or running e-commerce stores. It opens up a lot of exciting possibilities. These AI systems can run on a machine that might cost around 33 grand to build, maybe more or less depending on the specific hardware like chips and GPUs you choose, whether it's cutting edge or slightly older tech. On an M2 Ultra 76 GPU, which costs about $7,000 to $8,000, this speed is a bit slower compared to what you'd expect from larger models like GPT-4, which can handle around 300 tokens per second, or even GPT-3.5 Turbo, which might do like 100 tokens per second. Now, they're testing Llama 3 70 billion parameters on an M3 Max laptop, which costs around $3,200, but they're only getting about 8 tokens per second, so it's much slower. But keep in mind, this is being run on a laptop, which is pretty cool. They're comparing speeds. The $8,000 computer runs at 45% faster, but the $3,000 to $8,000 hardware is usable, though slower. The smaller 8 billion model is faster. Matt Schumer from Hyperite AI says an open source model beats Cloud3 Opus, processing nearly 300 tokens per second on the Grok chip. This tech will lead to revolutionary applications. Grok, a new language processing unit, is used in real-time conversation agents. A GPT-4 level model can now manage call center tasks like sales calls and appointment bookings 24-7 all for low costs. I mean, Grok's innovative technology enables a shift from traditional GPU processing. Let's introduce another man into the scene, Chamat Polyhapatia. Mentioning him often stirs controversy due to allegations about his investment vehicle causing losses for some. He once said that if you create something innovative and launch it, it will be four years before anyone can copy it, let alone surpass it. This approach, focusing on hardware over software and monetizing physical products rather than digital ones, felt more promising. He mentioned the TPU paper coming out, which is Google's custom chip for machine learning tasks. While investing in public markets, he was surprised to hear Google was making their own hardware with the TPU. He believed they must have had insider knowledge driving this decision and wanted to understand it to capitalize on it. 
Meeting with someone shortly after that announcement led to one of his fastest investment decisions. What led to this difference in speed? Some was skill, some luck. But the key was not predicting the focus on language. My inspiration came from optimizing AlphaGo software for TPUs at DeepMind, showing the challenge of scaling inference. While others viewed inference as running a model on one ship, the experience with AlphaGo showed something way different. Despite having 170 GPUs compared to 48 TPUs, the TPUs won 99 out of 100 games using the same software. This demonstrated that optimizing the computer would lead to better performance. The key insight was to focus on scaled inference, connecting hundreds or thousands of chips for better performance, similar to AlphaGo's approach. Now, linking it back to Llama 3, let's hear about the AI arms race in chatbots and where it's heading. They're all catching up with each other. I mean, GPT-4 had the lead for a year, but now Anthropic and MRR are showing impressive progress. Overall, the quality across these models is bunching up. MRR stands up for achieving high quality with smaller, less expensive models giving them a significant advantage. It sounds like they have an interesting perspective on optimizing models. People are finding specific niches, and a few will emerge as the best overall. However, there are concerns about the high cost of running these models, which can be astronomical and limit scalability for users. Facebook plans to have 650,000 H100s by year end, while Grok will deploy 100,000 LPUs, outperforming H100s in performance. By next year, Grok aims to deploy 1.5 million LPUs, surpassing last year's 500,000 H100s from NVIDIA. With 1.5 million LPUs, Grok will likely have more AI capacity than all major cloud providers combined, representing about 50% of the global inference compute. This is significant, given the high demand for NVIDIA GPUs among AI labs at major tech companies. You might have seen this chart showing NVIDIA H100 GPU shipments for 2023. Well, Meta and Microsoft lead with 150,000 H100Ss each. Mark Zuckerberg was fortunate to have these GPUs, not because they were planning for such large language models at the time. When discussing the model's architecture, firstly, they highlighted the use of an extensive training dataset, 15 trillion data points for a model with 8 billion parameters. This is unusual but welcome, as it results in a highly capable yet manageable model. Secondly, they discussed measuring the model's strength using flops, floating point operations per second, which combines the model's size and training duration into a single metric. The metric is crucial for gauging performance considering there's a limit on how many flops a model can handle effectively. Grok is making waves in the AI world, but let's not forget about the heavy hitters like Nvidia. The competition between old school GPU stuff and new LPUs shows how the AI world is always changing and getting better. As the battle heats up, it's clear that AI processing is heading for a shakeup, with Grok at the forefront pushing for faster and better performance. Their LPU setup, along with a special compiler, saves energy and makes sure everything runs smoothly. They say their way is better and cheaper than the old-fashioned methods. Remember, Grok's LPU is still a work in progress, but it's got huge potential to change how we use AI and handle info. What are your thoughts about this tech quiz? Do share it in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you all.